this cute candy corn decor. Keep watching. All right, so we're gonna start off with this black easel. I think at one time this came from the Target dollar spot. You can get something similar to this probably at Dollar Tree. But I've had it for a very long time. So I'd already done a bit of work on it beforehand just to try to figure out how to cover up that green. And so I've just removed that paper and I'm going to get some Halloween theme paper. This little pack I got from, I believe, Dirt Cheap, but you can get any type of scrapbook paper or wrapping paper or anything that you want. You could even use wallpaper if you wanted to. And you're just gonna fit it in there. Mine's a little bit short, but I'll show you in a minute how I fix that. I'm just going to press down to get a good edge so I can see where I need to trim. All right, so I'm gonna put it back down in here and decide where I wanna put my extra piece of paper. And then when I've decided, I'm gonna put my double stick tape down. You can get that pretty much anywhere. You can definitely get it at Dollar Tree. By the way, you can also get decorative paper at Dollar Tree as well. And then you're just going to find your length and glue it or tape it down. Okay, now I'm making a selection of ribbons here, and I like the little black and white. I think it's, it's cute for some cutesy Halloween decoration, so I'm just going to trim that down and use it to kind of trim out my frame here. Okay, you see me using hot glue? Don't do that. You'll see in a minute why I should not have used hot glue here. This is just a plain ribbon, it's not wired or anything. Well, it was crooked when I put it down and that drives me nuts. So then, oh, look what I did. See, when I pulled it off, I really messed it up. So I'm gonna fix it and I'll show you how. I'm gonna flip it upside down and I left this in here and didn't edit it out because I want you to see, even if you think that you've destroyed something, you really can kind of fix it. Yeah, so my ribbon didn't cover it, so I'm gonna add another piece of ribbon on there. Could have used another strip of the black and white, but I wanted to use some of this because it's similar to the color that's in the center, that golden yellow color. So I just used double stick tape for all that ribbon. And then I'm using some hot glue on the back of my little candy corn. And this is part of a three pack of, I don't know if it's chipboard or what it is, but it is um, kind of thick. You can use anything for that. And I got that from, I think, Michael's many, many years ago. It's been in my scrapbook, actually, collection. So I'm gonna take 16 inches of ribbon. You'll see me at the bottom. I have a little tape measure strip down there that's a foot long. So I'm gonna do 16 inches to make some ribbons to put on here. I'm gonna do the simple little ribbon that you've seen me do a thousand times, so I don't wanna go through that again, but just like tying your shoes, that sort of thing. And just make a little simple ribbon, a little simple bow. And then I'm gonna do the same thing with that kind of golden yellow color. Because I'm gonna use both of those because I wanna bring in the yellow that I have on the bottom, that strip of ribbon that I put on top of the black and white to cover up my boo-boo. So I'm going to use this along with it to look like it was intentional and no one will ever know. All right, so I know that I want it up there on the side, not in the center. I'm gonna put down some hot glue and then add one bow at a time. Mm -hmm. 
once you get them in place, you have plenty of time to go in and trim up your bows. You can do some dovetailing if you want to, whichever one that you like. And I just like to use these clips that came from Dollar Tree just to hold my things, especially things with any bulk in place while they're gluing down. So that's what the clip's for. I took some old Dollar Tree Halloween stickers that I've had forever, and I've just used a little trick or treat and the cute little font and put that right there on my candy corn. So once we've given time for the bows to get themselves and adhered down, you just take your clip off and it is done. Isn't it cute? It's so simple, so simple. You could also do this with just a, a frame if you wanted to. Yep. Once again, I am so very grateful for you for coming to my channel, for subscribing. Please leave me a comment below what you think about this and give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.